Good evening, and thank you all for coming. If that illustration was too shocking for you, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I will not apologize. Believers need to see exactly what is happening all around us. Can you imagine that we are voting on a constitutional amendment that would allow an abortion into the ninth month in the state of Ohio? How did we get here? How did we, how did we get here? What are we doing? What were we doing on August 8th? Laying by the pool, on vacation, taking children to sports? Do you understand there is nothing more important than voting no? There is nothing so pressing that you can't make time to vote. God called upon me to organize this pro-life event. He convicted me with these words to go tell them. I wasn't in the business of pro-life rallies. I'm in the business of building homes for women who are making a choice, a choice of life. As believers, it's only natural to tell women to choose life. But how can that be possible for the women that we are ministering to? Homeless, scared, victimized, and alone. 73% of women choose abortion because of financial reasons. That's where the Esther House comes in. We will house and educate women so that they choose life in a safe, stable environment, affording them the ability to stand on their own once the program is completed, to teach them spirituality, and to support them while pregnant so they can thrive and became, become a good mother or a good birth mother to their child. And when you save the baby, you also save the mother. So they both can learn to know God and all his glory that awaits them in kingdom. Be part of this ministry with me. Let's do more than tell a woman to choose life. Help this ministry to succeed and be a part of what it is. To help these babies be born into the kingdom of God. It's what is commanded of us as believers. To spread the gospel of Jesus and lead them. Show them what can await them. Won't you help me carry out this mission? Is God calling you to protect his greatest gift? If so, know that 100% of the money earned by donations goes to the Esther House. My husband and I will never take a pay. God has blessed us in so many ways. This is our gift back to God, to honor him and to build homes. I hope it's a thousand homes for our God. Let's unite and fight together and show God we are all willing to sacrifice whatever it takes to preserve his greatest gift, life. The time is here and your mission is clear. God is calling for his children to pick up their swords and help me fight this battle. Vote, donate, sacrifice for our God. Show God you are obedient and armor up now. Look around you. The enemy is walking among us to kill, steal, and destroy our children. Don't miss this opportunity to show our Father that we will love and honor him by doing the right thing. You know, I stand here before you, and some of you see a woman, a mother, a grandmother. And yes, I am all of those things. But that is not all. I represent 5% of the pregnancies that occur during a rape. I am a product of rape. My mother, my biological mother, was raped in 1963. She carried me to term and gave me up for adoption. Two wonderful parents brought me here to the Wellsville area years later. God revealed my purpose to me, which was the Esther House. If my mother decided to abort me, I would not be here today, and everything that touched my life would not be. Three children, five grandchildren, and the Esther House. To choose to abort a baby changes all of those things. God had a purpose for the moment he placed me in my mother's womb, and that purpose was to stand here today and ask all of you to protect life. So please
please take action to stop this issue. Support any venture that protects life. Jesus is coming. Will you be able to say you did everything you could do? Please pray that we all have. Thank you for coming tonight.